Hello there, I'm Storm and this is Storm's Toys, and today we're going to be doing the 1983 His Tank review. After G.I. Joe was cut in 1976, Hasbro decided to bring back the line in 1982 with a smaller scale and rebranded as G.I. Joe, a real American hero. The 1982 line was all G.I. Joe except for the Cobra Trooper, Officer, and Mailway Cobra Commander. When the Sumbo cartoon, G.I. Joe, a real American hero, aired in 1983, it saw the introduction of the first two Cobra vehicles. The first one, the Cobra Fang, and the second one, the Cobra His Tank, both released in 1983. 1983 saw the introduction of new molds for almost all the figures, and was truly a landmark year for being the first year that they were willing to introduce Cobra figures for sale. With this came four Cobra vehicles. The Glider, the Snake, the His Tank, and the Fang, all of which are very important seeing as many more Cobra vehicles were released after this success. In its original release, in 1983, it came with the Cobra His Driver. This release was later discontinued in 1985 and replaced by the SMS uh, Crimson Guard Tank. Okay, so this is my Cobra His Tank. Um, it's about 9 inches long and uh, 7 inches tall, so that's pretty cool. It's pretty big. Um, I have some size comparisons here so that we can see. Here's, uh, here's it next to He-Man, so you know, just a little bit bigger than He-Man, Stratos, you know, pretty close. Um, here's it next to Mumra, it's quite a bit bigger than Mumra. But, you know, not, not too much bigger. Um, here's it next to Darth Vader. So, he's mostly in scale with G.I. Joe. So, it's a pretty big vehicle. Um, and we have a few more here. We have Spider-Man. Spider-Man. And um, uh, we have uh, Donatello. Uh, Ninja Turtles. Quite a little bit bigger than them. And then... Uh, Transformers, here's Soundwave and uh, Rumble, and Soundwave and Rumble are quite a bit bigger than the uh, his tank, but that's just because of the scale differences between them. Um, so yeah, here we have uh, Augur next to it, and uh, yeah, no, he's also quite a bit bigger because he's almost the same size as Soundwave. So uh, here we have the his driver. Um, really cool figure. He has lots of nice detailing um, on him. I'm not sure if you can tell, but uh, he's got good knee pads there and uh, some little uh, stripe variations on his uh, leggings. Nice belt uh, details there with some of the black. And I really like the silver symbol on the center. Uh, the one I had forever did not have that silver symbol, and it just it really makes it look so much nicer. So that's really cool. And then, uh, yeah, he's got some little gauntlet things and uh, his visor and mask. Uh, so, yeah. Really cool figure. Uh, and he definitely goes really well with the uh, his tank. Uh, so here we have the his tank uh, itself. You know, it's got the two treads here that are basically just two little wheels attached by one, you know, like, pencil-sized uh, bearing or whatever. It's really quite simple and uh, it's supposed to make it roll and you know disguise it uh, from it. They're quite short um, if you can see and uh, you can't really roll it on anything that pushes down because it won't roll, it'll just like skim a little bit and yeah as you can see it's a little short because of that because uh, the, they don't want you to notice that it's not the tank treads that are moving for all that cool. So I my, my biggest pet peeve about it is that they like, definitely could have like the Mobat the Mauler or have moving tank treads. And I feel like they could have added that and it would have made it so much cooler. Uh as a toy itself. 
Um, so yeah, no, definitely, definitely think that they should have added those. I'll show you in a minute here an example from the uh, mauler. But yeah, I definitely feel like if they added some kind of spinny thing and some treads, that would have been so much cooler. But yeah, solid front there, as you can see. No gap in between the treads and in the back here. There's uh, two foot pegs and a little hitch for an asp to sit on. Um, so that's pretty cool. Uh, definitely like the Stinger, who also had that hitch. And, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, definitely really cool. And, uh, here, here we have the, uh, Mauler for a little size example. Um, as you can see, those little treads there, those circle things that spin the treads and that make it move, those are about the same size as the ones on the His Tank. So I don't see why they couldn't, you know, just put some of those in there and have an actual thing. Alright, so here's an ass. There's a little attacher. Just hook it onto there and you can tell that. So, you know, that's that's pretty cool. Uh, kind of like the stinger, but, you know, it's a giant tank, so I don't think I'd really need it. So the, the foot pegs on the back here, you can hold two figures in. And, uh, of course, we have our gunner seat. And my favorite figure in the gunner seat is the stinger driver. I feel like he just looks really nice there. And uh, he looks like he like kind of deserves to go there. There's lots of people who are like Cobra Troopers or stuff there, but I feel like the gray looks much nicer. So yeah, here the cockpit opens up. It's a little clear plastic, but sometimes gets dirty, so you might have to wipe that off every once in a while. And uh, yeah, you can fit the His Tank driver in there. So here's a little comparison. We're gonna compare the His Tank right here. Uh, stickers here actually first. We got the front stickers, we have some side stickers, 789, and a few other things, like, uh, like 3 out of 63, and, uh, some other cool detailing stickers. And, of course, we have the Cobra emblem there, there, on the back, and on the other side. And this side's basically the same as the other side, with some, actually, not really any differences. In the back here, you can see there's, like, a little control stickering, and on the front, a little Cobra symbol there. So that's it as far as stickers go. And uh, uh, here, I'm going to give you guys a little comparison compared to my uh, anniversary edition uh, SMS, um, the uh, Crimson Guard version of the His Tank, in, released in 85. Um, as you can see, it's pretty much the same thing besides the red coloring. The front stickers are the same. Um, the side stickers, I mean, this one's 206 and the other 7088, same thing. Uh, the Cobra symbols, one's white, one's red. It's, it's really mostly the same thing, it's just a different color. So if you're thinking of, like, which one do I want to get, it's really up to your preference. They're basically the same view. So, yeah, here we go. Um, his tank It's pretty cool. Uh, here's a file card for the his driver. And as it says here, uh, it's got the primary military specialty, his driver, the second one, mechanical and electrical systems, grade 05. And it says here, Cobra his drivers are selected from the best and most evil of Cobra Command's thousands of yearly recruits. Each is chosen for its physical strength and total dedication to evil. His drivers are graduates of Cobra Battle School Advanced Weapons Systems Training, qualified experts in his vehicle, fang copter, and knowledge of all NATO and G.I. Joe weapons. So, yeah, basically what it's saying is they can drive almost every Cobra weapon and all the G.I. Joe tanks. Which makes sense if you want to have it on the head of something as powerful as the His tank. Which I believe is the most powerful vehicle, much more powerful than the Stinger. So, yeah. Here's the cannons, they rotate up and down. Although most of them you'll find don't actually stick up, uh, so that's that's a little disappointing. You might have to have their hands pushed down on it, and that kind of makes it stick up. But that's also something that's very common in uh, his tanks. So yeah, pretty cool. Thank you for watching my review of the his tank. If you have any ideas for my next review, comment them below. And yo, Joe.